Hi guys, it's Nandi. Welcome back to Vibrant Authentic Living. I want to talk about grounding. What is grounding, right? So grounding for me is when you touch, touch the earth in some way. Whether it is you're going to be walking barefooted or you have your hands in the soil, you know, you're, you're climbing a tree, you're touching the earth, you're, you're making connection, direct connection between your body and the earth. And I believe it's very essential to be grounded and our ancestors, the way they lived, the way they, their houses were made, the way they, their, their clothing was made, the way they ate, the way they, just their whole lifestyle was conducive to grounding. You know, they were very connected with the earth. And we have moved away from that so much. You know, we're in shoes all the time. Our beds are, are high above the ground. Our, our sofas, couches, chairs, high above the ground. You know, our ancestors used to sit on the ground often. Their bodies were in connection with the earth whether on the floor or outside, sitting in the dirt, sitting in the grass, sitting on the sand, making that direct connection between the body and the earth. Now we sit around tables in chairs such as this one I'm in now, so high from the ground, um, in shoes all the time. Some people, the only time they're barefooted is when they're in their bed, you know? As soon as they get off the bed, they're in the bed slippers or the house, house slippers. They will not even touch the ground outside. Don't even talk about their feet touching the pavement or touching the, the ground. Not even the grass, right? So we are, we are so very removed. I remember growing up. As a country girl growing up in the bush <laughs> in Red Hills, we were very much connected with the earth. We, my yard was this big, dirt yard. You know, the, the, it's called Red Hills for a reason. The dirt was red, similar to the kind of a soil you find in bauxite, um, places where bauxite is, it's similar to that. So it would literally, it would stay in your feet. It would stay in, if it got on your shoes, it would stay in your shoes. And even, we always used to laugh. And you'd be, you'd be on the hill and your shoes look clean and then you go off the hill and suddenly it just looks stained with dirt. You know, because, because no, you're, you're not, you're no longer comparing it to the soil. It, it didn't look dirty. But, when you get off the hill, it just suddenly look red. All right, so that's the kind of... But we were barefooted for most of the day, you know, as children. We were barefooted, running up and down, sitting in the dirt, playing dolly house, playing games in the dirt. Um, I, used, I remember I used to make mud people. I used to search around the yard. I didn't even know at the time what was forming the later I realized it was the worms, the, the, the earthworms, who as they borrowed, so it was really earthworm doodle. -doo. I think that's what it I used to just see these soft um, toothpaste looking, well, the consistency of toothpaste, but you know it's brown because it's mud. So I used to see these around the yard and I used to collect them because they were so soft and smooth and I used to roll them roll them and um, and make people out of them and play that was that was my play you know I, I had such fun doing that so we would always be connected with the ground only when it's time to go in and, and you know close up we would we would have our bath and then you know with the inside still barefooted you know so but now you know when I moved to the city when I moved to um, Portmore which
which I, where I live now, I, I got the sense of, and when I looked at Kingston, working in Kingston, I got the sense of what Bob Marley was talking about when he, when he mentioned the concrete jungle. You know, the, the buildings were concrete. Um, no, even, even when they had windows, the windows were closed because it was air conditioned. Air conditioner, so not even the fresh air coming in to these concrete structures. Um, tiled, not even wood, tiled. Outside, the asphalt covered everything. Where we didn't have asphalt, it was it was um, concrete paved. And so the earth had no way to, to breathe or to express itself. Just a few green areas were designated. So when Bob Marley talk about the concrete jungle, you know, that's it's really what it is. Very few green spaces in the city. Even in Portmore here, which is more resident, it's more residential than commercial, but just a few green areas. You have to, I mean, the residents have been good into in that they have been planting, um, you know, this person plants a tree, a little shrub, some flowers, but not everyone is so inclined. Um, so we are we are very much removed. We are very much removed from the earth. And as much as I can return to to to, to that get that grounding that I had when I was growing up, I try my best to get that. So. I, I personally don't like to wear shoes, so I would be barefooted much of the time. And even if I have my slippers, many times I'll just walk away and leave them, totally forget about them, because my natural instinct is to just go barefooted. And I went through a period where even when I was even going to the supermarket, sometimes I'd just walk barefooted from my home, from my home to the supermarket, barefooted. Um, and then there, there's this hill in Brayton where people always walk up the hill and a um, couple of times I left my house and walk up straight up to the hill barefooted, walked along the main road up to the hill and people would look at me, people would be driving past and looking at me like, like I'm crazy, you know, because what is this woman doing walking on the main road, walking towards the hill and going up this, this, this hill barefooted. And I'm sure many of them um, passed remarks that I was crazy, right? But it's just this, I just had this need, still do have that need to feel that connection with the earth. So like, that I, and that's one of the things that I love about going to the beach because you get to sit on the sand, you know? To sit on the sand, sit on the earth, and just make that connection, have that transmission of energy flow directly between you and the planets. Remember, we are elemental. We are made up of, of the elements of the planet. And we need that flow of energy through us. You know, we need that connection. If we can't have it all the time, at least make an effort to get it occasionally as often as you can. Go out into nature, go on a picnic, sit on the grass, climb a tree, sit in the tree, go to the beach, sit on the sand, sit on a rock. Just feel that texture, feel the, the natural texture of the thing. Right? Scoop some up, in the, scoop up some sand and just feel that. Scoop up some dirt build your immune system. That's how we built our immune system as children. That's why we we weren't we were hardly sick. Because we were always in the dirt, <laughs> always in the mud. Even when rain fell. When rain fell, we would go outside, we'd be in the puddle, we'd be floating boats in the um, paper boats in the in the puddle splashing and doing all kind of things and that that exposed us to the elements and, and exposed us to different organisms and built our immunity right so nowadays if, if 
well, many parents, not all, but if they see their child moving towards anything that's remotely dirty, it causes anxiety in them. They run to get the child, you know? But so how, how is the immunity going to be built? How is the child going to be primed to deal with the natural environment? And, to, and to, to not develop allergies. When you make the environment too sterile, that's when the children are going to develop allergies and, and get sick all the time because they're not primed to cope with any kind of um, microorganism. So any new anything they're exposed to, they can't deal with it because they have not been primed gradually, systematically primed for it. Right? Immunity takes time. Um, <laughs> so, if you can, well, I've, I've always been interested in farming, never had the space, um, but if you can, if, even just to plant some flowers and to tend it, tend them, that, that can help towards grounding yourself, right? Try as much as you can to... Find somewhere in the yard and just sit on the ground. Or even in your house, just sit on the floor sometimes. You don't always have to be in the couch, on the bed, on the chair. Sit on the ground and then just allow that energy to flow through you. Go to the beach, just lie on the sand, just spread yourself out. Spread yourself out on the grass, <laughs> right? These things are important. We are from the earth. We are of the earth. And we need to get back that grounding. It's very important. Right, guys? So this is all part of the Valiant lifestyle. This is Nandi. Catch me in the next videos.